Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to learn about how to set up our UPN for on-premises domain controller. If you can see here, we have a domain controller on which is on my on-premises server. I can show you that. Give me a second. IP config. This is going to be a local server, and I wanted to sync up with uh, with my. Uh, cloud Azure Active Directory so that the identities whatever I have been trying to maintain both can be benefited now let's close have a look on the closer look on my current on-premises domain controller if you can see here I have the few of the computers also I have few of the user accounts uh, close to 1000 user accounts and uh, some of the computers I do have here and this is the OU now as a next step I'm going to sync up this with my Azure Active Directory. To do that, before going to uh, do anything with the sync up, I need to configure my UPN. To do that, I need to open my administrator uh, tools and go to Active Directory Trust, which is Domain Trust. In this case, Domains and Trust. Let's open up that and go to just select the domain controller uh, sorry uh, at the top of that and just go to the properties you have the UPN if you don't know what is UPN UPN is basically used for the default user uh, basically UPN stands for a user principal name so it means like for example if a user trying to log in uh, in this case uh, let's let's closely understand about UPN uh, if you can see here if I take a user number one this user number one will log in with user number one at the rate my lab dot local that's what he's going to use but you don't have any other things so if I want to set it up here I can set as log on name as user number one at the rate my lab dot local but that's not going to be work out when a user wants to log in over the internet because dot local is not a unique it's it's not a routable that means over the internet it can't be routed so normally when we create active directory we always go for non routable domain controllers uh, that way uh, we will not have any other you know complications later point so we follow that best practices to create our domain controller with non routable and that's why it is my lab dot local now if a user wants to route over the internet also what we have to do is we can't uh, instead of you know you do all the renaming all those things uh, all these uh, people will you know prefer for going for the UPN names example my domain name is in this case omnio.com uh, and this domain name I'm gonna add here that means once I click on apply ok and then if I go back to the same user let's go back to the user and now I will get almost two of things one is uh, mylab.local other one would be the omnio.com also so now I can set it to this user hey you go ahead and use uh, edit uh, user number one at uh, omnio.com that can be used this user the specific user that's the importance or that's the way uh, you configure normally for the UPNs if you have a PowerShell module you can simply use the script to automatically convert your existing users UPN to automatically to set it to whatever the domain name you want for in my case I'm going to configure as this that would automatically configure my configuration we can also try with uh, the simple VB script either way it works uh, it's gonna search my domain controller where is a category of the user it it is going to be configured as omnio.com as my UPN for all those users so so I'm gonna configure that by entering the script to run so it just ran and now if I go back to any of the user account properties I should be able to get it here as it is setting to my account so both the cases you can do that way and uh, that concludes how to set the UPN name now the next section would be AD connect 